And how is the bond between the two of you? Because he was pretty, um, he was pretty open. I'm sure you, you caught it. He said when he came on last time, he said, him and me, talking about you, didn't really get on. And that was my fault because I'd never make the effort. I never listened to him because I thought I knew the crack. I listened to critique him rather than listen to listen to him. That is one thing I've definitely improved on. What kind of happened before was dot dot dot. It was mainly we were very competitive with each other, but maybe we didn't support each other as best we could. And that's definitely something I felt I didn't do for my brother. He is, I mean, as, as modern rugby players go, he is about as open and honest as you can find in a modern sportsman. Um, has Judah done wonders in terms of the two of you chatting more? I wouldn't say the most talkative anyway, to be honest. Um, so I'll text him or we got a group on WhatsApp and I'll say, oh, morning and stuff like that. But I wouldn't say we spoke <laughs> real, more. Real close more. stuff, is it? Real <laughs> long conversation. <laughs> in each other's pocket, necessarily. <laughs> No, How but, is the um, relationship between the two of you now, though? Because he was very open and honest about it, and it, it felt like the bonds were were regrowing or being rebuilt. Yeah, like we don't talk much. That's, that's for sure. But um, I don't really talk full stop. But in terms of like bonds, like just because we don't talk doesn't mean he's not the person I fall to when I'm in trouble or when he needs trouble, he comes to me and stuff like that. So we always had each other's back, but. Um, in terms of texting, we wouldn't talk every day. Uh, in training and stuff, we probably wouldn't even talk every day either. So um, it's getting better, but part of it is just because I just tend to do my bit and go home. And he kind of, he's more of the social one and he'll try and see what the boys are up to and ask more questions. So that's how you like it? <clears throat> how it is is how you like it? Uh, well, it is, it's comfortable for me, but also I don't want him to think that we're not close and uh, I don't think he thinks that, to be honest. Is that because as well you're the older one and you've sort of always kind of been in charge? Does that play a role? A little bit. When he says about how sometimes I would say something and he wouldn't listen, he'd listen to kind of critique more than he would listen. Um, that's just been him being a little brother and um, when obviously when we were younger, whenever my parents um, were kind of away or uh, someone had to take charge, it'd always be me. So it always be me telling him what to do, and there's only so much you can take. As you know, Hast with him, he's a bit big-headed. Not big-headed, but he doesn't like listening to people. And um, whenever I said something, even though it made sense, he'd try and argue it. So, but no, it's, it's all good. I think Bill's like somebody. I don't know if you agree. He's sort of got to find his own his own way. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, some people can be told and, and want to do it, but if if you're sort of you kind of have to find your own way of getting there. Like, you know, I'm sometimes, I've sometimes liked that, but I know lots of people you, you share something with them and they go, oh no, I'm not, fuck off, I'm not going to do it. And then they come around to your way of thinking, but they had to find yeah. their own path. Yeah, exactly. That is, he won't agree with it straight away. He'll figure it out himself and then he'll come back and it might not be the same, but he'll be there or thereabouts.